In this video tutorial, we're going to take a look at setting up uh, Jiggle physics in Unreal Engine 4. We're going to go through the entire setup. So I'm going to start with a model here in Maya and take it, off, take it into Unreal. And then we're going to use the physics editor in the Unreal Engine to make an interactive jiggling object. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with a cylinder. And I think I want to, I want to work with uh, something that looks kind of like a jujube. So we'll create the cylinder. I just went into edge, edge mode, selected the edge loop, and we're going to go to edit mesh, bevel. And I'll just position that and scale it a bit. Just so that it looks more like a, a piece of candy. So I'm doing a subdivision preview on this by hitting the three key. And it looked okay on the top, but on the bottom it was not so great. So I'm going to add some support edge loops in here. That's looking better. Just to make sure. That's looking how I want it to look. I'm going to go ahead and add one more edge loop. And then I'll grab, oops, make sure I'm in edge mode, grab this bottom edge loop. I'm going to scale it in a little bit just to kind of add some support there for the bottom. Just tighten this up here a little bit. So I'm going to do a geometry smooth on this. So I'm just checking my what it's going to look like when I when I do the smoothing. So now we can go ahead and do a smooth. I'm going to turn on the wireframe over on shaded view. That's not bad. I think I need more resolution though because when we're using the physics editor for deformation. I want to make sure that I have plenty of verts. So that the animation looks smooth. Something like that looks pretty good. Okay. While I'm at it. I'm going to take a look at our UVs here, and I'm going to split. I'm going to go to UV. I'm just going to drop a planar map on that. 
I'm going to edge mode. I'm going to split it right there. So here's what we've got in our UV editor view. And if I hold, with that edge loop selected, <clears throat> let's move this window over. You can see the edge loop selected here. Just shift right click and choose cut. And then I'll go into UV mode, select all those UVs, shift right click, choose unfold. So this is this shell is the main body, and then this shell is the bottom. So just to make sure that our UVs are lined up, I'll go ahead and turn the checkers on here, and. You can see we have a little bit of stretching and stuff like that. But for what we're doing, making a jujube, I think that, that we'll be able to get away with this. My main concern is that I want to make sure that the shells are relatively proportionate. And I can do that by checking the size of the checkers. I think something like that will work out okay. All right. Another thing I'm going to do is hit insert on my keyboard. And I'm going to grid snap the pivot to the origin. So I'll hold down X and then the mouse button and click and drag just to make sure that's snapped. I'll hit insert again to exit pivot mode, delete my history, and then actually I'm going to scale this up. So now I'll delete history, freeze my transforms to make sure those are clean, and I'll go ahead and save this. Okay, so now we're ready to set up our rig for the mesh. And we're going to set up a series of bones along the surface of this thing so that um, we can use those bones to drive physics bodies in Unreal Engine. So in the next video tutorial, we'll do our rig setup.